This is Joy with 2A Radio Center. By now you've already watched the video on how to download the RDX programming software on your computer. This video is to show you how to program your RDX series radio using the programming software. You'll need to have downloaded the RDX programming software. You'll also need the RKN4155 programming cable, which you can get through 2A Radio Center. It's a USB cable with special firmware in it and also a connector that will need to go to just any of your RDX radio single unit charger trays. So make sure that those cables are connected to your computer and we'll get started. I'm going to open the RDX series CPS software. Okay. And you see down here at the corner it says USB cable connected. If I did not have my RKN4155 cable connected, um, when you initially plug it in, it may do a firmware wizard or hardware wizard to, to get it set up on your computer. Um, every computer is different, so you might have a problem with that. Um, but if it does not say USB cable connected, um, you're not good to go yet. So if you have any questions on how to get it set up on your computer, you can speak with somebody in your tech department or you can contact us at 2A Radio Center for assistance. Okay. But what I'm going to do now is place my RDX radio, and this is an RDV2080D radio, into my single unit charger. There you go. I have to make sure the radio is turned on. And what I'm going to do is read the radio. Okay. It says read successful. Okay. I always like to maximize the screen so I can see everything that's going on. And you see over on the left hand corner, it has all of your channels. The RDV2080D is an eight channel radio with a display. So you see all of the channels listed down here. Um, some of the other features up here, it says the RDX series. And this is just the radio information from the radio that you just read. So it has the serial number. It also has the frequency range of 150.8 to 160, along with the max number of channels. Okay. You can click on the general settings, and this is just for you to see. This is rarely something that we ever go in and change. These are more advanced features. Here are the audio settings. If you have a voice activated speaker mic, you would change that feature here. And the buttons, you can program the buttons to different call tones to scan. There are a lot of different features that you can set on this radio, as you see from the Dropbox. And there is also a description here at the bottom on what each of these functions can do. Okay, but today I'm just going to change my channel one. You see the frequency default is set to 20, and it's not really frequency 20. The frequency is truly 154.49. The bandwidth is set to narrow band 12.5, and you won't be able to change this to wideband due to the FCC mandate as of January 1, 2013. So you will have to use you know, the 12 and a half. You can use the transmit power set to high, or you can change that down to low. High for this radio is 2 watts, low would be 1 watt. And you also can change the privacy code. There's the PL and DPL code. It starts at 67.0. You can just scroll through and you can see how many options you have. Then it changes to the DPL code, which is just a whole number. And then I never get into the customized PL code or the inverted DPL code. It's a bit more sophisticated. Um, sometimes the more features you set on the radio, the more likely you could possibly you know, set something up there that shouldn't be. But of course, whatever you do to a radio, you can always undo. So if you have any problems, have any issues, just contact us. We'll get you squared away. Okay, for the frequency, you can just drop down and say I want to change this radio to frequency 11. I can just scroll down on it. And I'm going to change this PL code to 8. There you go. Now all I would have to do is hit right up at the top to program my radio. Right successfully. OK. There are several features that you can program in the radio. This is just a basic review. If you have any questions or if you need anything else, please contact us at 2A Radio Center. Thank you for your time. Thank you.